Hello and welcome to Oxford, Mississippi. We got a good one coming your way on the SEC Network. Ole Miss at 14 and seven, taking on the 10 and seven South Alabama Jaguars in their final tune-up before SEC play begins this week. The pitcher they will be facing is right-hander Savannah Diedrich, and you want to talk about riding a high. Savannah coming off of a 15 strikeout performance on Sunday against Indiana State. That matches a single game best in Ole Miss. Fly ball left field. A few steps to her left goes Jessica Puck. A three up, three down inning for Savannah Diedrich here in the first. You see why, big swing here. Fly ball to left field. Kelsha Lofton giving chase, tries to jump for it and it's a one nothing ball game in favor of the Jaguars. The veteran shortstop sending one over the left center field wall and just like that, South Alabama on top one nothing. With Meredith Keel. Looking to bring someone home. Instead, she'll try a gap shot to left field. This is going to be a problem for Ole Miss. Two runs come across, and Keel comes away with a stand-up double. Good bloodline for the Kavistad family on the softball field. Camden turns on this one, launches it over the left field wall. The second home run of the evening for South Alabama. It is a 4-0 lead. She just roped that ball. She got her hands up in the zone, did not waste any time in that at-bat. Ava Tillman enters the game down four runs. The senior from Cedartown, Georgia. Cassidy Wilcox flailing one to right field. A diving grab is going to be made, and Ole Miss is going to get out of the inning. They're going to bring in their workhorse pitcher, Olivia Lackey. Trying to get this last out. Nice play there by Alvarez. She'll hustle over to the back. Out of the Missouri Valley. Straight away center field. Paige Smith, stay hot. Just like that, Ole Miss within one run as the sophomore from Corona, California comes through with a blast. 4-3 South Alabama remains on top, but here come the Rebels. Big opportunity here, the 0-2 pitch on the way from Lackey. Puck goes down and digs it out. Bobbled out in the outfield, but Ole Miss. Chance for a big play for South Alabama, and they throw it into the outfield. Puck's going to be able to come around to score and tie this game up. Allie's still running for the Rebels. She's at third, and we've got a 4-4 ball game. Run until someone told her to stop in that instance and yep. has herself 60 feet away from coming home, and Kelsha Lofton comes through for Ole Miss. What a story for the Rebels. Kelsha Lofton was not a slapper when she got to Oxford. Clark in the Jaguars. Let's see if the second one can come up and make it happen. Yes, indeed. A rope to left center field. Wow. Here comes the runner around throw, the third. The throw home, <gasps> not grabbed by Autumn Gillespie. And Ole Miss will dig into the bullpen as well as Anna Borgen comes in. She'll be the third arm out into the circle for Riker Chasen and Jamie Traxel, the senior from Heath, Texas, riding a 23-inning scoreless streak. Ole Miss fans are going to hope that continues here in extra innings. 13 strikeouts. Her strikeout number one in this outing for out number two. She sits Wilcox down. Upstairs, ball four, Furbush walks, Gillespie scores, Rebels win, 6-5. It may have been more of an anticlimactic ending here in this game, but all the parts in the middle of this sandwich were fantastic. It was a fun game between South Alabama and Ole Miss. The Rebels now with 35 consecutive wins over non-conference opponents here in Oxford.